passengers touched down in Philadelphia on the first flight from Puerto Rico since Hurricane Maria hit the island on Wednesday. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is live in the CBS3 News Center this morning with the emotional stories from people who made it back here safely. Anita. Well, good morning, Jan. A very emotional morning indeed, as many people traveled from Puerto Rico here on one of the first flights. And as you can imagine, they are heartbroken for their home territory. Oh, I felt like we were going to die. An emotional Angela Rivera spoke to Eyewitness News after touching down at the Philadelphia airport late Friday night after Hurricane Maria devastated the island. He evacuated us into a ballroom. The walls were shaking, the chandelier was shaking, the floor was shaking. Then they moved us into a stairwell where for eight hours we were 20 people in a room the size of a bathroom. And the wind just sounded like a freight train. Rivera, who lives in Manchester, New Jersey, says she flew to Puerto Rico a week ago for a vacation and spent three days in peace before the storm. We were told, uh, according to the NOAA, there were no storms down in the Caribbean. That's how fast it developed. And from a terrible storm to a hurricane, and there was no time. But she praises the people of Puerto Rico who helped her and so many others to safety in a time of complete chaos. Everything's down. I have no power, no water. I have nothing, nothing. And whatever they had, they were willing to share with each and every one of us. They are wonderful people. Myra Soto and her children also landed in Philadelphia from the same flight after waiting for hours at the airport. She says it had to resort to old-fashioned security and check-in methods, verifying each person and bag by hand due to a lack of power. There's no light, there's no food, there's no electricity, there's no gas. So everybody's like, it's like a chaos over there. We survived something that we never imagined. So just so much devastation over there. Now, there were three flights that were scheduled in and out of Puerto Rico here to our area this morning, but those have been canceled at this hour. Live in the News Center this morning, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. 